Hello, and welcome to the PC Security Channel. I usually don't talk about Android malware as much, and the reason for that is primarily, well, this is the PC Security Channel. <laughs> People don't use their phones the same way they use their PCs. But something has really gotten my attention over the last uh, few days, and I've noticed more reports of this particular case. So we're going to talk about this a little bit. There's a popular Trojan going around right now called Loapi, and it's actually capable of causing a lot of damage to your phone. So first of all, it masquerades as a lot of apps, some of which is on the Play Store, some of which you have to go to shady websites to download. Once it's activated, it's actually very difficult to remove because it has a very aggressive self-protection. But that's not really what we're talking about mostly. So the best part, or the worst part, is that this is kind of like an all-in-one Trojan, and it does multiple things. The most devastating is that it can actually mine cryptocurrency on your phone, and phones aren't exactly designed to be run with max CPU usage all the time. That can actually physically damage your battery, or destroy your phone altogether. It's kind of concerning, and we might see a lot more of this kind of malware in the future, so I just wanted to make sure that you're all aware about this. As you can see, the app also has kind of like a preloaded list of applications that it considers bad for itself, and therefore it calls them malware. <laughs> That's funny. So for example, if you have an app like Kaspersky Internet Security, it's going to say malware detected. Do you want to uninstall? A regular user, of course, with Kaspersky, it's kind of hilarious, but um, it, it is possible that the user would click OK for a lot of apps that might give it trouble, like some sort of resource monitoring utility. Speaking of which, if you do want to um, get something like that, I just looked this up. Resource Monitor Mini might be helpful. Coming back to our malware, it actually has multiple modules, which includes SMS Trojan stuff, you know, adware. And of course, it connects to its uh, command and control server. At the moment, I believe it is mining Monero. And Kaspersky actually did an interesting experiment. They ran this malware on um, the, one of their phones for a couple of days, and in the end, um, this is what happened. So the battery bulged and deformed the phone cover. So this might actually be a physical hazard, depending on which phone you use, obviously. A lot of Android phones aren't that well built. And these types of threats may very well be the most annoying thing in 2018. We're certainly seeing a rise in cryptocurrency miners. And on your phone, this is devastating. So we've gone back to the days when malware actually made things slow. As bad as it is on your PC, on your phone, it's terrible because your phone's going to heat up, your battery's going to die. And if things get real bad, well, you may even have physical damage. Also that the cyber criminal can make their 0 0.00001 cent off of your device. Isn't that fun? Now on the PC side, we're also in trouble. And uh, since this is kind of like a gray area, I mean, we have sites like Monero Silent Miner just blatantly advertising what some people would look at as a malware creation toolkit, pretty much, with a nice inspiring background. I think we'll see a lot of stuff happen with regards to cryptocurrency mining in 2018. If you're on mobile, I think it is not that difficult for you to avoid these things. So first of all, just, just don't install all apps like who needs them seriously it's it's a phone how much do you use it so just install basic apps and don't go out looking for oh this one looks cool let me just add it just don't do that and use the official stores as much as possible avoid downloading apks and all that more or less you should be good i don't think that there is as much of a risk of getting infected on mobile as on pc it depends on your use case but again that's just how i use my phone so i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want me to cover more android related stuff in the future Leave a like if you do, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.